Is there anyone who can compete with El Gato's Tamlink Pro? I saw this on Amazon, the Multi One Mini. Let's check it out and see how well it does for half the price. Hey sandwiches, welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad to see you. And I wanna jump right into this video, but first, let's spare a moment for our sponsor. Well, that was tweet and easy. I assume since you clicked on this video that you're probably something like me. You're a content creator, probably a streamer. Check me out on Twitch, Tuesdays and Saturdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then you probably wanna stay on a budget. You wanna get the most bang out of your buck. Or maybe you're just a cheap skate. This video is directed toward those of you who maybe have some gear and you're just trying to upgrade. Or you could be starting out and you wanna be able to get as many capture card inputs as you can for the cheapest amount of money. And that's where these multi-capture cards come into play because first of all, they give you a little more flexibility in the number of HDMI inputs you can use and usually they also will save on some PC resources so you don't have to have a bunch of separate capture cards trying to use up all the bandwidth of your PC. So in this video, I'm just gonna cover two different devices. One of them is gonna be the Elgato Camlink Pro Elgato, it makes top of the line products. We all know and love them as streamers, but they tend to be a little bit pricey, so it's reasonable to wanna look for budget options. And that's where the Multi One Mini comes into play. I had a viewer on my Twitch channel recommend this to me and send me a link, asking me what I thought about it. It's half the price of the Camlink Pro at $180. It's got four HDMI inputs. I figured, you know what? can't hurt to review it. I like to emphasize that this is not going to be necessarily a review video on the Camlink Pro specifically, but it is going to be a comparison between the Multi One Mini and the Camlink Pro because I just wanted to see what the gap between the two devices are. So let's start with the Multi One Mini and jump into how that performs. The Multi One Mini feels pretty solid. It's all nice and metal. It's got a nice housing here. You have an IR receiver on the front, so that way you can change channels with the remote. You have the power LED to let you know when the device is powered. You have channel LEDs as well to let you know which channel is getting an HDMI source input to it. You have these physical switches on the front, one for audio to switch between audio channels. You have one for the switch, which switches between video channels if you're using the single mode. And then you have the mode switcher, which switches between the various mode options, such as the quad view, um, picture in picture view, etc. Then you have the USB 3.0 port on the side right around the corner. The back has all of your HDMI inputs, the HDMI pass through, and the power adapter to it. And then the final side is blank. The first time I plugged in the Multi One Mini capture card to my streaming PC, Windows recognized it, OBS recognized it. Everything seemed to be working perfectly. The default mode was quad mode, but then I switched between all the modes just to see how everything was working, switched through all the audio modes. Everything seemed to be working just like a charm. The video quality was solid. It's a 1080p, 60 frames a second, which is pretty much standard for any console that you're running. Any PC can run that essentially at this point. The latency should not be an issue and you can play through story-based games solidly without any problem. And then the biggest thing that this Multi One Mini has over the Camlink Pro is the HDMI pass-through. So even if you have that latency with the monitoring through OBS, you can still run an HDMI cable out of the capture card into a separate monitor so that way you can see everything in real time. But that was the first time I used it. I wanted to be thorough, so I went ahead and plugged everything into my gaming PC just to see how it would do on that. It seemed to be working fine at first because everything was recognized, but then I wasn't getting any video signals or audio signals through my PC on OBS or through the pass-through. I also had this really weird issue where it looked like it was getting power over USB when the power adapter wasn't plugged into it. And then I would get a signal through USB in OBS, but when I put the power adapter in, it would not work and it would do HDMI pass through and vice versa. The point of it is it was super finicky and it, it, there was no rhyme or reason that I could tell to why it was acting up. I also tried this back on the streaming PC where it worked the first time and I was having the same issue. Maybe I just got lucky the first time. This company, UCEC Tech, has no website. Their support email is a Gmail account, which I reached out to, just a couple of questions, wanted to see what I was doing wrong. Maybe it was user error. I'm not the smartest guy, who knows? If I did anything bad for him, I'll put it on the screen here. Now, when it was working, another downside to this was if you're doing the picture-in-picture -picture setting, it only allows it to swap between channels one and two. So if you have something plugged into channel three or four, 
those are just lost. You cannot use channels three or four for picture in picture mode. So that's kind of a bummer. If you wanna use a quad mode where you have one image prioritized and the other three channels small, it squishes down the one image to some weird like three by two ratio and it just looks awful. Why would you want it to look like a squished down three by two rectangle? I don't I don't understand what that what that decision was. And then probably the biggest drawback to this device is the fact that there are not independent channels that go via USB to OBS. You only get one source at a time captured in OBS. If you're trying to replace or look for a budget version of the Camlink Pro, that right there is probably the killer to it. The only workaround I can think of to get this to capture all four video sources at one time is you can maximize the quad view and stretch it in OBS to make the one of the small corners, like whichever source you want, full screen. However, it looks like complete doo -doo because the full quad view source output to OBS is only 1080p. So essentially you're getting a quarter of 1080p trying to be stretched into a 1080p source for your stream. And it just looks like butt. Nobody wants to watch that kind of quality. Let's go ahead and move on to the Camlink Pro. So remember, this isn't gonna be a product review of the Camlink Pro because we all know, you've seen other bigger YouTubers do these reviews. It's an excellent device. Elgato usually doesn't do things poorly. As I was mentioning, we are comparing the two and I wanted to see where the Multi One Mini fell short or the Camlink fell short. So the Camlink Pro, one of the main differences you'll notice right off the bat is this is an internal PCIe capture card versus the USB 3.0 interface, which is the Multi One Mini. Camlink has no HDMI pass through, so, Whatever sources you're plugging into the Camlink, you have to monitor through OBS or you have to get an HDMI splitter to split the HDMI source before it goes into the Camlink. So that way you can still see your game console, for example, on a monitor. And it makes sense why they wouldn't want to add HDMI pass through to this device because then you have to extend the housing downwards to be like a, like a graphics card thickness almost, right? It would increase the price of this probably sub substantially. I, I don't know that off the top of my head, but I'm guessing it'd be much more expensive. Talking about price though, when you looked at the comparisons to this device more specifically, like the Blackmagic device, the Magwell device, they are more than double the price of this Camlink Pro. So per HDMI input, you're definitely getting the best bang for your buck here. Another major advantage the Camlink Pro has over the Multi One Mini is the capabilities to capture up to 4K 30, rather than stopping at 1080p 60 frames a second. And finally, what sets this the furthest apart and leads above the Multi One Mini is the fact that each channel is independent. And you have the option to do any of those multi views. You can do quad view, tri view, you can do a dual view, picture in picture, you can switch between single modes. All of it works seamlessly. You, you do have to download the Elgato software, but that's pretty straightforward. The Camlink Pro just does it right. It just does. And I was hoping that we could find something that was budget priced to really maybe, uh, maybe not necessarily dethrone, but be an actual competitor to the Camlink Pro. Unfortunately, that's not the Multi One Mini. Obviously, the Camlink Pro is leads above and far beyond the Multi One Mini. There's just no comparison between, between the two. I was hoping there would be more of one, but there's not. So if you're looking for the best bang for your buck and you need at least four capture card inputs, the Camlink Pro is gonna be your, your capture card. I did scroll through Amazon further while making this video, but I found a capture card called the Acasis capture card. It's also PCIe based. It's much cheaper than the Camlink Pro, so it's something that I may look into. And if you'd like to see me do a review on that and see how it compares, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, the Camlink wins this one easily. No contest, hands down, Camlink's the winner. And I appreciate you guys for sticking around. If you made it all the way to the end, make sure you comment down below, Elgato wins. And that way I know that you made it to the end and I'll give you that special completionist badge. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you like the video, subscribe if you haven't yet, and make sure you do that so you don't miss any of the videos coming out. We'll do more tech reviews, we'll do some stream upgrade stuff. I got it all for you, baby. So I'll see you in the next one. Yum. Wait. What's, hold on. 160? 120?